Now let's write a quadratic equation using three points. The context of this situation is NASA flies an airplane in parabolic paths to achieve weightlessness. The height, h of t, is given in feet, and time t is given in seconds. We're going to write a quadratic function in standard form. We're given a variety of data points, but we've chosen three to use. The first is 10, 26,900. 10 represents time in seconds, so we can substitute 10 for t into our function, and h of 10 is 26,900, so we can substitute 26,900 for h of 10, or the h of t. Multiplying that out, we end up with 26,900 equals 100a plus 10b plus c. Three variables, three equations. All right, let's look at our second data point. We have 20, 30,600. Let's substitute 30,600 for our h of 20 and 20 for t. Simplify that equation. Our third equation, we're going to use the point 30 comma 32,100. Go ahead and substitute those values, creating our third equation of three variables. Well, one nice thing is every equation has a plus C. So if I just make one of those equations a minus C, I'll be able to add to the other two and get two two variable equations. So let's take equation one and multiply through by negative one. Next, let's add equation 2 to the equation 1 that we multiplied by negative 1, creating our new equation 4. To create equation 5, I'm going to take that first equation multiplied by negative 1 and add its result to equation 3. Now we have a system of two variables, two equations. Well, let's just take equation 4, multiply by negative 2, and add it to equation 5. That will add out our b terms. So a is negative 11. Let's substitute the value for a into equation 4 and solve for b. b is 700. Now that I have the values for a and b, let's substitute into our original equation 1 and solve for c. C equals 21,000. Now that I have the values for A, B, and C, I can go back and write the general form of the quadratic function. H of T equals negative 11 T squared plus 700 T plus 21,000. After 20.8 seconds, passengers begin to fill a weightless environment. Let's plug in t equals 20.8 and evaluate to find out how high this occurs. h of 20.8 equals 30,896 hundredths. Now what does this mean in context of the situation? Well, at t equals 20.8 seconds, passengers begin to fill a weightless environment at about 30,800 feet. Remember when you're answering in context to include the context of the situation, the answer with units, and the time that it occurred. Using quadratic regression, the table below shows fuel efficiencies of a vehicle at different speeds. We're going to use technology to write a function that models this data. We're going to use that model to approximate the best gas mileage. Start by entering the data in list 1 and 2 in the stat menu on your graphing calculator. We'll enter miles per hour x into list 1 and miles per gallon y into list 2. We want to look at what type of relationship this data models. We need to see a scatter plot. To do this on our calculator, we need to turn our stat plot on. So we click second y equals to get to stat plot. Then we scroll to the left and click on enter. Now I can click the graph button. In order to see our data, we need to make sure our window is set so that all of our points can appear. To do this quickly, we could press the zoom button and then scroll down to the ninth option, stat. Then all of our data will appear in our window. And look at that. My data kind of looks like an upside down parabola. So this relationship is quadratic. That means we can find a quadratic equation by clicking STAT, CALC, 
Then scrolling down to option five, quad reg. This stands for quadratic regression. And look at that. My calculator gives me values for A, B, and C of the quadratic function, AX squared plus BX plus C. For our purposes, we're gonna take this three decimal places out. The more decimal places we have, the better our regression. F of X equals negative 0.014X squared plus 1.366X minus 7.144. There's our equation. Hmm, I wonder how well our quadratic function models this data. Let's find out. We're gonna graph this equation in our calculator. To do this, we click y equals, and then we're gonna type in our quadratic function. To type this, we're gonna need to know how to type the variable x. Well, that button is just one to the right of the green alpha button. We also need to know how to square something. That's two below the green alpha button. Take a moment to type it in. Now we can press graph. <gasps> and look at that. My quadratic function models my data really well. Last, we need to approximate the best gas mileage using our quadratic function. Well, best gas mileage, that would be the most miles per gallon. Most, maximum. We're looking for the maximum. We can actually use our calculator to find this on our graph. To do this, we're going to click second trace. This gives us the calc menu. We're gonna scroll down and select maximum. Now I'm taken back to my graph and we get this little cursor. It almost looks like a little turtle. I'm gonna arrow my little turtle over to where I think the maximum is. Now that he's sitting there, I'm gonna click three to the left because my calculator's asking for the left bound and click enter. Then my calculator says right bound. So I'm gonna go back to the middle and click three to the right and click enter. Last, my calculator says guess, and I can take a guess at where I think the maximum is at. So I'll move my cursor and click enter. Then my calculator gives me the maximum value and where it occurs. The coordinate would be 48.929, 26.416. This means the best gas mileage is about 26 miles per gallon, when the speed is about 49 miles per hour. Regression. <laughs> I'm, Woo! I'm excited to be in this too. I heard it! I heard it! No, no. <laughs>